Good day! I am John Virgilio Sicabildo, your student nurse for today from Our Lady Academy University, Kassam City. And today, I will be demonstrating cranial nerve assessment. And just like everything else, we're gonna wash our hands, provide for patient privacy, introduce ourselves, and verify the client's identity. We're gonna explain to the client what we are going to do, why is it necessary, and how he or she can cooperate. Cranial nerve assessment. We have the test for the cranial nerves. Cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve. We have to ask the client to close eyes and smell different mild aromas such as coffee and vanilla. Okay sir, I will let you smell some different kind of aromas and uh, I will let you identify it while, while your eyes was closed, okay? You may now close your eyes. Okay, sir, you may now identify coffee. Okay, next. Vanilla. Okay, very good. The client was able to identify the different kind of mild aromas. You can now open your eyes. And for the cranial nerve, number two, the optic nerve. Ask the client to read the Snellen chart and check for visual fields by confrontation and conduct an ophthalmoscopic examination. Since we don't have an ophthalmoscope available, we're not gonna do the procedure. We're gonna proceed to the first two procedure, which is the Snellen chart, reading, and confrontation by visual activity. Okay, sir, you're gonna stand 20 feet away from the Snellen chart and you're gonna start reading it from top to bottom to determine your visual activity reading. Okay? Yes. Let us start the Snellen chart reading. You may now stand up, sir. Because we don't have a big area, let's assume that the client was standing 20 feet away from the Snellen chart. You can now cover your uh, right eye with your hand and start reading from top to the bottom of the Snellen chart. E, F, P, T, O, Z, Okay. okay, you cannot put down your hands and cover your uh, other eye with your other hand and continue reading. P E C F B E D F C Z P F E L O P Z B D E F F O T B C. You cannot put down your hand. The client was able to read at the bottom of the Snellen chart. His visual acuity grade is 20 over 20. Can now sit down. And for the next procedure, for the cranial nerve number two, have the client stand, arms length, and cover your left eye with your left hand. And also me, I will cover my right eye with my right hand. Okay. Now you're gonna look at my hand and can you please tell me how many fingers, okay? We're gonna test for your upper and lower visual acuity and on the both sides, okay? Okay, now. Next, for the cranial nerve number three, the oculomotor nerve, we have to check for the patient's pupil reaction to light. And now, for the cranial nerve number four, the trochlear nerve. We have to assess for the patient's six ocular movements. Okay, 
closer, I will place this here and I will put this in different directions and you should follow, okay? Yes. And now, for the cranial nerve number five, the trigeminal nerve. Have the client look upward and lightly touch the lateral sclera of the eye to elicit the blink reflex. Okay, sir, I have here a cotton swab, and what I will do is I will put this in the lateral sclera of your eye to elicit the blink reflex. To test for light sensation, have the client close eyes and wipe a whisk of cotton over the client's forehead and paranasal sinuses. To test for deep sensation, use alternating blank or sharp end of a safety pin over the same area. Okay sir, what I will do is I will put or place uh, different objects on your face while your eyes was closed and you will identify if it's sharp or light. Okay, you can now close your eyes. I'm gonna start. Six, or the abducens nerve, we have to assess for directional gaze. What I will do is I will place this pen light in front of you and I will uh, put it towards you and you will look at it, okay? Yes. And what we will see is a pupils will constrict. Okay. I will now start. Now, for the cranial nerve number seven, the facial nerve, what are we going to do is we're going to ask the client to smile to the camera, put your eyebrows up, frown, puff out your cheeks, and close your eyes tightly. And now, the cranial nerve number eight, or the auditory nerve, assess the client's ability to hear the spoken word. What I will do is I will, I will cover your ear and I will whisper to the other side, okay? Can you please stand? Banana. Banana. Okay, I will do it on the other ear and I will whisper on the other side. Apple. Apple. Okay, the client was able to hear what I whispered. And now, for the cranial nerve number 9 or the glossopharyngeal nerve, I'm gonna ask the client to open his mouth and I'm gonna check his gag reflex and also I will ask him to move his tongue side to side and up and down. This procedure needs to be the nurse wear gloves. Okay, can you please open your mouth? Ah, and pull out your tongue. Okay. Can you please move your tongue side to side? Up and down. Okay. And now, the cranial nerve number 10 or the vagus nerve. Along with the procedure on the cranial nerve number 9, I did not hear any hoarseness of the speech or the voice of the patient. And for the second to the last cranial nerve, the accessory nerve, I will ask the client to shrug his shoulder against the resistance of my hand. Also, I will ask him to move his head side to side, also against the resistance of my hands. And I will do it on both sides. Okay, so can you please shrug your shoulder? Okay. And your head, can you please turn your head on the side? On the other side? 
that's all. And for the 12th and the last cranial nerve, the hypoglossal nerve, I will ask the client to protrude his tongue and move it side to side. Can you please protrude your tongue and move it side to side? Okay. And that's it! That was my video on how to do cranial nerve assessment. Once again, I am John Virgilio Sicabildo, your student nurse from Our Lady of Anime University, Quezon City. Good day.